내가 Welcome everybody to the day we've all been looking forward to. The start of a new NBA season on 2K Sports. This is Kevin Harlan with Hall of Famer Doris Burke and Greg Anthony giving us the rundown from the sideline courtside, David Aldridge. Looking now at the lineups for both teams tonight, some names out of action. And you hope to be healthy to start the season. However, both teams find themselves at less than full strength. So here's Oklahoma City's starting group. The post pair form will be Williams and Holmgren. Josh Giddy is out there with Gilgis Alexander, and it's Dort in at the small forward. And for Chicago, Levine on the wing along with DeRozan. Vucevic is the pivot. Williams is in the other post spot, and it's White in at the point guard position. And game one of the NBA season, Greg, is here. Does everyone get butterflies, or is it just me? No, I'm, I'm right there with you, partner. It, the anticipation has been brewing for months. Nothing like opening night. It'll be the thunder off the tip. Now, Gilgis Alexander. And here is Giddy. Back to Holmgren. Pass to Giddy. Just five on the clock. And the call on the shot that sends him to the line. LGA for the Bulls. It's been a struggle to find consistency the past few seasons. It's been a one step forward, one step back kind of situation. They don't need to set their sights on a title yet. They just have to establish that winning culture. Guys, we have seen a number of high-caliber players from Australia. Josh Giddy adding to the reputation of the country. This guy is long, he's versatile, and he's skilled. Now here's Williams following the miss by DeRozan. And a wide-open look for Gilgis Alexander. Gets it to go from beyond the up. And that's exactly what he's looking for, draining the triple. Vucevic's screen on Giddy to the middle. Holmgren with the steal. And now a fast break for the Thunder. Here's Williams. And it's sent back by White. And I love seeing White use that athleticism on defense. Great hustle to swap that shot. Puts it up from 17. Vucevic gets double team. <laughs> Get out of his way. No way the D is going to slow him down. And the Thunder with the possession here. This their first chance to take a look at the Bulls. An interconference matchup. They faced these guys twice a season. And last year, they took both games. Here's Giddy. Played in with a nice touch off the glass. A contested bucket, but Josh Giddy willing that one in the cup. Williams, a screen on Gilgis Alexander. Williams dishes to Levine. Oh, good on the triple. Not quite enough defense that time around. Just lucky he was off. Here's Giddy. It's all in by the Bulls. Well, we love his ability to attack the rim. He just loses a little bit of focus and misses the chippy. Boy, having a hard time making shots. Just one for four to start this game. Here's Gilgis Alexander. The layup missed. Chicago has gone 0 of 2 from deep here. Here's DeRozan. The jumper's good from inside six feet. But DeMar DeRozan simply never lets the defense phase him. He plays at his pace, and he welcomes any challenge. Gilgis Alexander passes to Williams. Count that one. And once he got to the 10, I think he was surprised to find himself that wide open. I think defensively, that is not the way you want to start. Giving up high percentage looks, that doesn't typically end well. And it's the Bulls with the ball. The Thunder making the shot. It's stolen by Dort. To the inside, Gilgis Alexander. This guy is such an explosive athlete. Shea Gilgis Alexander goes straight to the cup. There's Levine. Williams has a screen for Levine. Offline with his three. 
And even without that three ball dropping for him, the defense should have done more on that last play. To the wing right side. A three, Holmgren, and the Thunder, another three. And with that threat of the outside jumper, Holmgren generates space for this offense. And the first time out of the game called for Chicago. Five points per game last season. Four assists and four rebounds. And what an impact he makes for them on that offensive end. Right. He can do a little bit of everything for this team. And it shows when you look at the scoreboard. Just over three and a half minutes gone here in the first. DeRozan a screen on Giddy. Levine finds DeRozan. Five to shoot. Shoots over George, and the basket by DeRozan. Now DeMar DeRozan will two points you to death, folks. He has made his living in the mid-range area. Here's Gilgis Alexander. He's got five. Outside, George. A chance there to push it to double digits, but it's off the mark. Williams, a screen on Giddy. Levine. There we go. Now in the scoring column with that make, he is one for four. When you think of Zach Levine, his athleticism pops, right? This guy off the drive, so hard to guard. Giddy against Levine on the left block. Two free throws coming up, and they call the shooting foul. That one on Vucevic. This is his second trip to the free throw line. And the free throw line was a problem spot for him in their last game. He struggled up there. During the summer of 2019, DB, Oklahoma City traded Paul George to the Clippers. They got Shea Gilgis Alexander in that trade. He goes on to become an all NBA selection and looks like his future is like all star level every year. Not only that, you've got a boatload of picks, one of which was Jalen Williams, who's a big time upside player in this league. Wow, what a deal for this group. And it's Gilgis Alexander missing. Caruso kicks to Carter. Driving to the basket. The Thunder pull it in. Now, here's Gilgis Alexander. Holmgren at the elbow. Pass to Giddy. Outside, Gilgis Alexander. Carter against Giddy. Here's Williams. And it's off the back rim. No good. Listen, simply put, he's got to finish that. It's not like the defender was right on top of him. Good. DeRozan's got eight points. The Thunder leading by three. Holmgren with a screen on court. Gilgis Alexander against Carter. Gilgis Alexander can't get it to go. Bulls have gotten six of 11 shots to go down so far. Pretty nice shooting. Yeah, they got that one, but early on, it's it's really been a struggle Two for them to secure minutes. that defensive backboard. Two minutes. Here's Giddy. It's good for his second make. He's made two or three so far. Boy, it looked like the defense was perfectly positioned. Outstanding contest. And Josh Giddy says, I don't care. I'm scoring anyway. Caruso against Giddy. Caruso, the pass to Vucevic. Missed inside. Boy, if you're going up against this guy in this close a range, you've got to defend with everything you've got. A tremendous job defensively. Holmgren finds Giddy. And it's going to be out of bounds. The Bulls will take With this pause in the action, let's show you the teams that have scored the most points in the league last season. 
Fifth on the list, the Thunder. I just loved how this team attacked their opponents. You could see their confidence grow as the year went on, and, and the points really started to pile up. Now here's DeRozan. 11-point game his last outing. That one drops for him. Well, the pick and roll is one of many useful tools in the handbag of DeMar DeRozan. How about their ability to be effective in that situation? Here's Giddy. Outside, Gilgis Alexander. That one good for two. Seven points in the game. And really, it's been a major aspect of their offense in the early stages here. Their success working the ball inside and getting points from close range. Now here's DeRozan. He's got 10. Shoots over towards, and it's DeRozan missing. Giddy the pass to Holmgren. That's good, and so Giddy with the assist. Now it's a seven-point Oklahoma City lead. And Caruso's got the ball here for the Chicago Bulls. Now eight seconds separating the two clocks. Boy, a lot of contact there, but he gets the call and will shoot two. And you don't ever want to get into the habit of letting the offense get to the rim. Chicago shooting their first shots of the night from a charity strike. And a season ago at the charity strike, this is a group that shot an impressive 81%. The Thunder leading by five. Gilgis Alexander with it. Seven points in the game. And the dunk by Gilgis Alexander. Oh, oh, inflicting some punishment with the two-hand flush. Ah, they're going for the throat. Here's Terry. And the last second attempt does not go in for him. And so it's Oklahoma City heading to the bench with a seven-point lead as we wrap up the quarter. They're pounding the ball inside, and that's where they've gotten their best production tonight. And we'll be right back after this. Just joining us, we've played through one quarter in this one. And a moment here to take a look at the scoring breakdown for Oklahoma City. And they've set the tone from the jump. They're looking to pound it inside and score in the paint. Yeah, and in addition, their ball movement has really unleashed their offense. Boy, they've been fun to watch. Bulls trail by seven. So the Thunder Five right now. Lavis Burton's out there with Wiggins. Then there's Shea Gildas Alexander. And it's Saar in its center. First break. You look at the size of some of these point guards now. Magic Johnson would feel right at home. Yeah, it's a part of a larger trend with all the switching defensively. If you have just one smaller guy on the floor, he is going to get targeted. An efficient night from the line. This is a guy who puts in the work and it pays dividends. And Gilgis Alexander gets it to go. This guy is an absolute scorer from anywhere on the floor. Shea Gilgis Alexander doing work in the mid-range. Here's Levine. Craig kicks to Levine. And he's good on the three ball. Levine's got five points now this quarter. Well, you love the activity out there. What a play. This guy is busy on the offensive end. Here's Saar, defended by Drummond. Shot clock at five. Saar, the pass to Micic. Trying to answer back, but that three is off the mark. Quarter number two with just over a minute gone. Craig sets the screen for Levine. And the call is going to be, yes, yes it is, an illegal screen. And not the most common call. 
you'll see in the NBA, but hard to argue that pick wasn't illegal. It is really difficult to get your feet completely set, to stay completely still. It's almost surprising to me that it isn't called more often. And it's Gilgis Alexander missing. Bulls trail by four. Craig sets the screen for Levine. And there's the pass to Craig. Back to Levine. Over Jane. Levine gets the bucket. Levine's got nine points. Feet planted, angle set. All Levine needed was the basketball. Chang with a screen on Levine. Outside, Gilgis Alexander. That's no good. That miss makes him 5 for 11 from the field. Bulls have gone 2 or 3 from the field here to open the second quarter. Gilgis Alexander against Levine. Craig with a screen on Gilgis Alexander. Levine, good. Levine's got the game tied up here for the Bulls. Well, bit by bit, Zach is becoming physically tougher, which makes you mentally tougher. Now, here's Gilgis Alexander. He's tightly guarded to the paint. Here's Saar. He's been up and in off the pretty assist. And they keep hammering away at him inside, forcing the ball into the paint. Craig finds Levine. Back to Craig. And that comes off the assist by Levine. That's a really well-run pick and roll. You can see the game is starting to slow down for Levine. In regard to the Thunder, they had to go through, Greg, a rebuilding process not too long ago. Yeah. It was oh. Boy, that SGA dunk was right out of the highlight reel. Woo! Awesome display of athleticism captured by our AT&T 5G Slam King. Now here's Levine. Tight defense on him. And there's the drive. And foul on the shot. So he'll get a chance at the line. Yeah, the defender all over. The Bulls have hit all four of their chances so far in this one. They're showing a lot more aggressiveness now after making zero trips to the line in the first quarter. So for the Bulls, Williams, he's checked in for Torrey Craig. DeMar DeRozan comes in for Terry. And it's wide and four, Dosumu. Zach Levine, explosive. Explosive with athleticism, with his hops, with his ability to score the basketball. Williams against Williams. Here's Holmgren. Rebound Andre Drummond. The Bulls have gotten four of their first five shots to fall in the second quarter. Outstanding shooting. DeRozan's shot is off. And so it's Giddy with it. He brings it up for the Oklahoma City Thunder. It's Williams high post. Working on Williams. Williams finds Holmgren. And Holmgren possesses sky-high potential in his length and versatility, making him such an intriguing prospect. First trip to the line for him here. Chicago making some changes. Vucevic, he's checked in for Andre Drummond. And it's Alex Caruso in for Levine. Gilgis Alexander against White. Vucevic a screen on Gilgis Alexander. And slam dunk by Vucevic. Nikola Vucevic skilled at rolling hard to the rim after setting the screen. That is a smart play. For Oklahoma City, their last game was a loss to the Pistons. Here's Dort. And Vucevic pulls it down. Vucevic has got six rebounds in the game. And the basket by DeRozan. DeRozan's got the lead up to two now for the Bulls. And when they've gone to him, he has come through big time. You got to keep getting him touches. Outside, Dort. Holmgren sets the screen for Dort. And the dunk by Holmgren. I mean, sneaky. When he moves around the floor, Holmgren takes you out of the play, slips past, and just rolls to the hoop. Giddy against Caruso. Down low, Vucevic, and he finishes nicely on the way. Six points for Vucevic. And they're forcing the ball inside, and it's working like a charm. Here's Gilgis Alexander. 13 points in the game. 
And foul on the shot. He'll shoot two at the free throw line. Well, there's a level of aggressiveness that you must contend with with Gilgis Alexander on the offensive end. You'd love to see him force the issue. Torrey Craig, he's checked in for the Bulls. Both shots good from the strike. The Bulls have gone 7 and 9, and their field goal attempts here in the second quarter. Pretty good offense. Vucevic is screen on Gilgis Alexander. White, wide open. He fires. And not going to go. He misses the first attempt on the night. And now the latest from our reporter, David Alden. Thank you, Kevin. Well, the OKC Thunder is still building, but is it fast enough for their all-star guard, Shea Gilgis-Alexander? SGA says, I think we're going to be a really good team a lot sooner than people think. So it's pretty easy for me to be patient. I see the growth every day. I'm super excited about it. Kevin? And we see it, too. Hey, David, thank you. Two minutes. DeRozan, a screen on Gilgis Alexander. Outside DeRozan. Shot clock at six. The Thunder pull it in. Holmgren's got six rebounds now in the game. Pass to Gilgis Alexander. 132 left in the first half. Noah at that time in the shot that would have put them on top. This has not been a good period for this guy. Out of sync, not letting the game come to him. He's got to settle down and make shots. And again, no good by Chicago. Oklahoma City has gone 0-2 from deep here in the second. 103 left in the first half of the game. Holmgren sets the screen for Giddy. They now take the lead. 17 points for Shea Gilgis Alexander. We all know that SGA is very capable of averaging 30 for a season. Tonight's exploit should come as no surprise. This is it to Craig. Now Vucevic. Back to Caruso. Good ball moving here by the Bulls. Craig with a screen on Giddy. And that one's good, Caruso. And the lack of effort to fight over the screen there makes that an easy shot. You know, we see this all the time. You're basically, as a defender, hoping the man misses rather than putting in the work to get over screens. Holmgren wide open. And it's off from three-point range. Chicago has gone one or two on three-pointers here in the second quarter. So one second separating the shot clock and game clock. Craig with a screen on Dort. Kept alive. Out to White. From deep. Traps in the tray. White's got the lead up to three now for the Bulls. Man, you have got to honor White on the perimeter. Once he gets comfortable from there, it's going to be bad news for the defense. And some good action through the first two quarters as we reach halftime. Bulls lead by three. It's time now to go courtside as we send you over to David Aldridge from the sideline. David, take it away. Thanks very much, Billy. I heard you tell the guys to take it to them and play with more physicality offensively. What did you mean? Well, just I think when we're getting the ball inside around the basket, at times we got to go up a little bit stronger and play through the contact and go to the rim. Tough sledding in there, but you got to get there. Thanks, Coach. Appreciate it. Back to you. Thank you, David. And we'll be back after halftime as the third quarter gets underway. Welcome, everybody. This game has been all about Zach Levine's impressive play. And with that kind of performance, you got to credit the work he's put in. Yeah, he's really flushed out his game. Flushed out, not flushed. He didn't send his game down the toilet. Now that, boys and girls, is some award-winning content. Turning our attention back to the Thunder, they're in a real tooth-and-nail fight here at the break. Their defense needs to pick up the slack. Those boys over there had missed some easy shots. This game wouldn't be this close. And it's not good enough to just defend the first and second option. You have to defend the whole clock. 
That'll do it for our show tonight. Thanks for joining us, and we'll send you back to Kevin Harlan for more Hoops action. And if you're just joining us, we've played through the first half in a game that's been fairly even so far. You know, Shea Gilgis-Alexander has been exceptional here tonight, guys. He had a fast pass to the lane that first half. Got inside on demand. Now, this guy is such a good finisher on the move, and so far, the defense has not been able to counter it. And as we get into this third quarter, as we've seen so far, neither team able to create much separation on the scoreboard yet. So with Vucevic on the bench, here's the group that Billy Donovan has on the floor. The guard set is White alongside Levine. Andre Drummond is out there with Williams, and it's Terry in at the three. Well, Levine has really worked on those playmaking abilities. That's a pretty pass right there. Thunder trailing by five. Pass to Holmgren. Inside. Here's Gilgis Alexander. Second chance effort. It's Drummond with the rebound. Drummond's got his fourth rebound with that last one here tonight. Levine's shot is off. And so it's Giddy with it. He brings it up for the Oklahoma City Thunder. Here's Gilgis Alexander. Gets it to go from eight feet. Gilgis Alexander's got 19 points. Well, that's SGA in a nutshell right there. Quickness, length, guile, finishing on the interior. 18 feet out. Picks it out to Terry. Drummond sets the screen for Terry. And Drummond throws it down. Andre Drummond understands if I can get to the offensive window, I can put points on the board. Thunder trailing by five. Outside, Dort. Third quarter of basketball, about a minute and a half in. Tries it from the top of the key. Terry grabs the board. I think this is a spot he has got to become more consistent from. If you want to command the defender's respect. Wright finds Levine. Spins over Giddy. And misses it off the right side of the rim. Yeah, but the hand in the face. It's critical that you contest his shots every time down the floor. Williams. That's good. And so Giddy with the assist. They didn't have much of a problem getting the ball into the post that time. Outside, White. To the inside. And it's Drummond with the jam. Drummond, a, a huge target rolling to the rim. Under trailing by five. Holmgren the screen. Gilgis Alexander against White, and it's good, two points. Gilgis Alexander's got four points in the quarter. A little over two and a half minutes off the clock in this final half of play. Gilgis Alexander against White. Down low, Williams. Lee Baz was put in just the right spot. Williams has got the lead back up to five now for the Bulls. A pass to Williams. Gilgis Alexander surveying the D. Puts it up from 15. Here's Holmgren. And the layup falls. Holmgren's got 11. I mean, length and skill. And Holmgren has a lot of both. Williams, a screen on Giddy. There's Levine. Williams kicks to Drummond. Outside, White. The three. And the rebound goes to the Thunder. Giddy's got five rebounds tonight. Pass to Gilgis Alexander. Outside, Williams. Outside, Dort. For the tie, and it's sent back by Drummond. Andre Drummond in the middle of the action at both ends of the floor. Big time 
the defensive block. Some changes for Chicago. Vucevic checked in for Drummond. Alex Crusoe comes in for Levine, and it's Carter in for Kobe White. And Oklahoma City with a change here, too. Sars checked in. Bulls leading by three. Now Terry. Still without a basket. Vucevic is screen on Dort. Here's Terry. Pass to Caruso. Five on the clock. Williams a screen on Giddy. Caruso, no good. Thunder trailing by three. And here is Giddy. He has seven. Here's Holmgren. And the jump by Holmgren. Oh, the long strides of Holmgren on display. This is why you can't give him the lane. Carter against Gilgis Alexander. Here's Caruso. Tries the spin move. Gilgis Alexander pulls it in. For the lead. And contact on the shot, so he'll be shooting free throws here. Boy, Shea Gilgis Alexander has become the master at drawing fouls. And a closer look here at the hustle stance for Chicago. Uh, they've been active defensively, rotating well, and, and then also closing out on shots. It's resulted in a number of blocks. Something else that they've had working for them is attacking the offensive glass. Boy, taking advantage and creating second chance points. Impressive. Time called here. The Bulls decide to talk it over. Alexander. He's coming off an excellent season. Fourth in steals, and he was just a machine at the charity stripe. Top five in the league in free throw percentage. And clearly one of the dominant scorers we have in this league is top five ranking last year. Puts him right there in the ranks of the elite. Here's DeRozan. No good. And they can't put an end to this drought. Thunder have gone even 5 of 10 on shot attempts in the third. And there's the call on Lou Dort. That's his first foul. Boy, that's the last thing they needed. This game too close to be making those kinds of errors. For the Thunder, Wiggins is jacked in for Holmgren. And it's Micic in for Gilgis Alexander. And Caruso's got the ball here for the Bulls. On the wing to Rosen. Spins over Wiggins. The Rosen's shot is off. Something that's kept this game close is the fact that the rebound stats for both teams are almost identical. Here's Micic, defended by Carter. Here's Zorn. And again, Oklahoma City, no good. Chicago trailing here. And DeRozan with the basket on the assist from Carter. DeRozan's got 14 points. Boy, how about the body control from DeMar DeRozan? Just an outstanding score despite the hit. And with an update from the sidelines, let's check in with David Aldridge. Thank you, Kevin. Josh Giddy is very capable off the dribble and at 6'8". He's starting to use his size to finish. Coach Mark Dagnall said he's definitely physical. Before, he was just trying to shoot over people, but now he's taking up space, using his size and strength. He's getting a lot more around the basket. Kevin? Yeah, he is getting into him. D.A., thank you. Great scorers know how to knock in free throws. DeMar DeRozan, not the guy you want to foul. And the Bulls making a change here. Dosumu's checked in, and a switcher also for Oklahoma City. Davis Bertans checks in for Dort. He gets that one. Yeah, coach's pet peeve there. No box out. But to me, this is a common theme that's running through the league right now. Guys looking to leak out rather than box out. 
Time called here. The Bulls decide to talk it over. checked in and while we can here's a look at the teams that had the fastest hands in the league last season the Thunder in fourth you could tell by watching them how much they enjoy playing defense they seem to have an endless reserve of energy flying around and, and pressuring the basketball with the drive makes it off the glass goes through moves got his first two points of the night how about that move? You'll see very few players able to pull off. Just sensational stuff. Passes it to Bertans. Fires the three. A three-pointer is right on target. Now, this is what Davis Bertans does best, right? The ability to consistently knock down range shots. And for the Bulls, they're shooting around 40% in the third. Maybe settling for some less than ideal looks out there. DeRozan with it. Defended by Giddy. And it goes down two points. Well, use the pick and going right to the cup. I love the aggressiveness. 36 seconds left to play in the third. Here's Micic. Scoreless thus far. Bertans can't get it to go. And I think that one could have easily have fallen for him. Craig finds DeRozan. And they double up DeRozan. And wrestling for it there, but no one has possession. We'll have a jump ball. Eleven seconds left in the third. Six to shoot. Dosunu, the pass to DeRozan. And he hits it just before the shot clock expires. Now it's a four-point Chicago lead. And so it's DeMar DeRozan making highlights for the Chicago Bulls. His production has been flowing as he's tallied 20 points and looks to be planning for more. And we'll be back with you shortly. Let's take a listen to a recent huddle from Coach Billy Donovan. Hold your ground. Don't let him back your way in. Just hold your ground. The other thing, too, is once he picks the ball up, he's not going to shoot it. If he does, just stay down on him. I like the way the Donovan's conveying that scouting report to his guy. I mean, knowing how your opponent plays is important, and I think he's on point on this one. And I know I speak for all of us when I say I can't wait to see what kind of finish awaits us here in the fourth quarter. And Oklahoma City, looking who they've got to start the fourth quarter. We've got Shea Gilgis Alexander. Wiggins is out there with Davis Bertans. And it's Saar in at the pivot spot, manning the middle. Here's Levine. And he gets the whistle. Two free throws coming up. Zach Levine wants to score it. And if you play with contact, he has no problem embracing that. At the line for Chicago. And so Levine nails both of them. And if they continue, Kevin, their outstanding free throw shooting, that'll help them seal the deal. And it will go, and the Bulls lead is cut to just one in the basket from Micic. And you want him taking big shots for you in big moments. That one was as easy as it gets. Boy, when it's this close, you try not to give up these kinds of buckets. Boy, you got to do better defensively. White kicks to Vucevic. And a miss there on the triple. And Gilgis Alexander's got the ball here for the Thunder. Pass to Saar. 
to take the lead. Here he goes. And a great assist by Gilgis Alexander as that one goes in. Gilgis Alexander's got three assists now in this one. First minute and a half of basketball played here in the fourth quarter. Fiend passes to DeRozan and finished off by DeRozan. DeMar's basketball skill and his IQ make him such a dangerous, well-rounded scorer. Here's Mijic, guarded by Levine, and Jack Levine gets the whistle that time. That'll be his second foul of the game. And, and really, these are some of the toughest calls an official has to make. Dort, he's jacked in for Jack. Lugans Dort. Joe passes to Dort. Now the pass to Joe. Pocket six. Here's Micic. And again, Oklahoma City with the triple. Their ability, again, to stretch the floor, particularly in this second half. And guys, boy, when you're hitting, it sure does work. It obviously opens up major options at the offensive end. And he threw the blocking foul. He'll go to the line for two. That one on Dort. This is as good as it gets from the charity stripe here in the second. And let's take a moment, guys, to get your take on the scoring so far for Oklahoma City. I like this throwback approach they're taking, looking to score high percentage shots in the paint. And so far, it's working. I think it's also important we mention the number of assists this group has tallied. Their offense continues to just hum along right now. Second team foul. Just under two and a half minutes gone here in the final quarter. Back to Dort. Some nice passing by Oklahoma City here. Here's Joe. And again, Oklahoma City with the triple. Pretty heavy incoming from beyond the arc. A key part of their initiative this entire fourth quarter. It feels like they have worked their perimeter game to perfection. Swinging the ball, cashing in from the outside. What a performance. That's what he gives you. A big-time presence on the glass. And you know what, Greg? Once he gets his hands on it, he's not even thinking about kicking it out. <laughs> no reason to do so there. He was going to leave no doubt. Here's Gilgis Alexander, and he uses the glass on the lane. Gilgis Alexander's got 25 points. And a nice spark for their offense here in the second half. Now above 50% for the game. Here's Levine. Another shot. Yeah, it goes, and the Oklahoma City lead has got down to just two points with the bucket from Williams. And, and that's a great play on the backboard for him. I mean, it's what we expect. All his second chance points do not come by accident. Beautiful dish, and the layup goes down. Sars got four points now in the quarter. And the guys, all about hard work from this point on. They, they've worked hard to create that high-quality shot and then able to knock it down. Here's Levine. And Vucevic throws it down. He's got the size to make that an easy finish. Vucevic, deep position, and he's golden. Oklahoma City's gotten off to a great start from three-point range in the out. final quarter. They're a perfect three of three. Time called here. The Thunder decide to talk it over. And Oklahoma City making a change here. A moment now to hear from our sideline reporter, Hall of Famer, David Aldridge. David. During that last break, Coach Mark Dagno talked to his team. Now with this game up for grabs, Coach told his guys to think positive. He said, we know this game is ours, fellas. We've earned it. I need you to show me right now that you want this. Can I get it done? We'll see. Guys. Thank you, David. Holmgren with a screen on white. Just five to shoot. 13 feet away. And it's Chicago with the rebound. I tell you what, the defense should send Christmas cards for that miss. To tie it up. <laughs> Fouled on the shot and picks up two points. So one free throw coming up. Oh, tough play from White here. Hits the foul, but doesn't give up finishing what he started. 
and they now lead as the free throw drops for him. Oklahoma City's gone 6 of 14 with the three ball tonight, just a little over 40%. Goes up to the strike. The epic counts. Gilgis Alexander's got four points this quarter. Well, Gilgis Alexander becoming more and more reliable as a jump shooter. With everything else in his game, look out. Chicago calls timeout. Adjustments are a part of the game, and the coach sees something he doesn't like here. Well, this is a chess match. Looking ahead a few moves and trying to execute toward that. Vucevic checked in for the ball. Chicago's gotten off to an 0 for 2 start from downtown here in the fourth quarter. Levine with it. Williams picks him up. Levine's shot is off. For Oklahoma City, they've gone on a tear here in the fourth. They're 8 of 9 on field goal attempts in the quarter. Giddy finds Holmgren. Outside, Gilgis Alexander. The shot from the low post is good. And it's a three-point Oklahoma City lead. The assist totals, Kevin, just continue to grow. They're way ahead in that category. Ball movement has been flawless. Here's Vucevic. And then Vucevic slams it in. Wow, Vucevic with the big-time delivery. The Montenegro says, that's my shot. And Gilgis Alexander's got the ball here for Oklahoma City. to five on the shot clock. Williams can't hit. The Bulls have gotten into a pretty good groove going six of ten here in the final quarter. Here's Levine. Banked in off the glass. And that's 18 points for Zach Levine. Levine delivery in a big moment. What a game we've got. Levine against Giddy. Goes up and lays it nice and easy. Unflappable. I mean, no moment is too big for Holmgren. They needed that basket. DeRozan scanning the floor. Shooting foul as the whistle blows. He'll shoot two free throws. And one on Holmgren. And the first of two, no good. Heartbreaking. At the line for Chicago. And the second of two is good. That ties the game up. Boy, the missed free throw there, keeping this game at even. We'll see if that comes back to haunt them. White against Gilgis Alexander. Nobody near Williams. And the three off target. Williams has gone two of seven from the floor here. Vucevic dishes to Levine. Vucevic setting the pick for Levine. Going inside. And it's Shea Gilgis Alexander with the rebound. Gilgis Alexander's got his fourth rebound in this one. One oh two left to play here in the fourth. It's good! So much riding on that shot. What a bucket. I'll tell you, that changes things, doesn't it? Good job, young fella. What a game. Two points here might be all the cushion they need. You would think so. This game is theirs for the take. It's Dort on the wing. Gets the three to fall. My goodness, Lou Dort in the clutch. We see you, young sir. Levine against Giddy. This one for three. Again, Levine missing. Nothing seems to be going his way this quarter. Well, not at the offensive end, certainly. He cannot buy a bucket right now. And there is the whistle. It goes on Kobe White. And that'll be his third foul so far. 17 seconds left in the fourth quarter. And an intentional foul right there. Fourth personal foul. He hits the first one, and that increases their lead to six. At the line for the Thunder. 
Ooh. And he cannot convert on the second. That misses. For three, Levine. Again, Levine missing. Now here's Giddy. He's looking for Williams and finds him. So we see the Thunder get the win here. They seem to relish their role as the bad guy here tonight. Yeah, you know, Kevin, I sense that as well. I mean, they really did feed off all of that negative energy this crowd was directing at them. I mean, they turned it around and used it as motivation to close out a significant win. And that'll do it for the first game of the NBA season. For Greg Anthony, Doris Burke, and David Olmos, this is Kevin Harlan. Thanks for tuning in. As we present our New Balance player of the game, Shea Gilgis-Alexander. I got them pretty things flying across the Atlantic.